So I got a couple of requests on how to set up this FPV system. Um, this is the FH18C camera and the Fox Tech Hobby 500 milliwatt 2.4 gigahertz transmitter. This camera runs off 12 volts and the transmitter puts out 12 volts so that makes this a really easy FPV system to set up. So we'll start off with the ground station. Um, as you can see it's really really simple. All you do is plug in um, your receiver to your video monitor or goggles. Um, as you can see the receiver comes with a little plug that's RCA connectors and you just need to get an RCA extender cable. Um, I have a 20 foot one and that just goes into your viewing screen or goggles. Um, I use such a long one because Dragon Link, the farther away Dragon Link is from my video receiver, um, the better the video is. So I bought a 20 foot one so when I'm flying my plane, I'm really far away from my receiver. Um, also the transmitter just runs off 12 volts so I run it off a 12 volt LiPo. You can see you just plug it in there. So here's a more in-depth look of what plugs um, go where on the transmitter. As you can see it's just power and then um, the bigger plug is for video and audio. So this transmitter has a really wide range of power supply, um, really wide range of voltage that it can take, and it has really good filtering capacity. So um, you can use this transmitter, um, you can run it from your plane battery if you want. Um, that's what I do and it works just fine. Um, basically wiring wise, um, as you can see the diagram says it all, you don't need the white or green wires, those are just different audio frequencies, um, but the r black, red, and yellow wires just plug directly into your camera, um, and I recommend soldering on a servo plug in the middle so you can unplug your camera and use it with different transmitters and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, basically that diagram has it all there, it's really really easy to do, um, just like three soldering connections, maybe four or five if you have to solder a plug onto the battery, but it's really simple. So the camera, the receiver, and the transmitter uh, all together will run you about $98.63, so it's fairly cheap for an FPV system. Um, hope that helps some of you noobs on how to set it up. Um, thanks for watching. Bye.